Will everything eventually turn into crabs? While this might seem like an outlandish theory, it's based on some fun evolution. In 1916, the term carcinization was coined as a term to define one of the many attempts of nature to evolve a crab. It's an example of convergent evolution, in which a crustacean will evolve into a crab-like form from a non-crab-like form. Convergent evolution describes when similar features evolve in species from different periods or regions that have a similar form or function. This is despite the last common ancestor of those animals or plants not having that particular feature. Examples of this include echolocation in bats and whales, mechanisms for flight in birds, pterosaurs, bats and insects, echidnas, porcupines and hedgehogs have evolved prickly protrusions, and despite the appearance of these three animals, their last common ancestor was likely in the time of the dinosaurs, yet they ended up with similar characteristics. Convergent evolution happens when animals and plants adapt to similar environments and therefore end up with similar solutions to navigating that environment. A lot of things that we would recognise as crabs aren't actually crabs. They've just evolved to look like crabs. Crab-like forms are thought to have happened independently at least five times in decapod crustaceans. These include porcelain crabs, hairy stone crabs and coconut crabs. During the Cretaceous period, creatures that looked more lobster-like in shape became more squashed and their smaller back legs became longer and more crab-like. The advantage seems to be that the crab shape allows them to walk and burrow more efficiently, with some crabs that can even climb trees thanks to this shape. Convergent evolution is fascinating, but we're still learning and discovering new information. So until we know more, that's why everything wants to be a crab.